All right, transitioning into those zero drop minimalist shoes is the name of the game. Coach Nate here, we are in part two, where we are gonna dive into the specific mobility and strength exercises you can do to help your cause in this transition. Let's dig in. So thus far in our part one video, we talked a lot about the considerations you should be uh, looking to from a programming perspective. How do I ease my way into a more zero drop minimalist shoe? How do I spend more time strengthening my feet just through daily habits of going more barefoot, going into more of a minimal shoe then? How do I add it into strength? And then finally, how do I ease it into my runs without knocking my run mileage too much? If I stopped there, my chances are for success would probably be 50-50 because I need and I'm lacking that supplemental work to further strengthen my feet and to add additional mobility around my toes, my ankles, my Achilles. And that's really what this video today is going to be all about. Now just quickly, when we think about our foot, we need to really think about what this arch does and that this is really what gives us structure and support um, all the way from the bottom. If I don't have a very strong arch, my foot tends to collapse and I start to see this over pronation and collapse occur. We've solved this with greater levels of stability in our shoes and in our orthotics, but the problem is, is when I'm literally supported by a crutch for so long, I'm not challenging my foot, my feet anymore. They get a little soft and mushy. And then when I make this radical change from one thing to the next, I get into trouble. So the first part, we're gonna get into some strength and I'm gonna show you how to strengthen those little toes and those little feet. So the first exercise we're gonna work on is going to be some barefoot single leg balance. Now, as I set myself up, the thing that I want to remind you is that we have three primary contact points. We've got our heel, we've got our big toe, first metatarsal, and our pinky toe, fifth metatarsal. And we're gonna think about putting these three prongs into the ground and working on balancing and pushing through those areas. And that's just going to activate our arch, all the tendons and ligaments, muscles that need to be firing. Now, one of the things I'm going to do to really accentuate my arch is I'm gonna do this little curl. And it's a very subtle movement, but I can literally kind of pull my arch up off the ground just by kind of pulling my big toe back and accentuating this. It's a funky one, try it you'll be able to get it. So before I get myself set up, I'm gonna kinda of curl, really accentuate that arch, press hard on that big toe, you're gonna to obviously lose me, you're just gonna see my foot, and I'm gonna spend 30 to 60 seconds balancing here. Now, for some of you guys, you may need to hold on to a table initially to support yourself, that's just fine. You can start to go less and less supported. If you feel like you can balance here pretty well, well now what you're actually going to do, you can't see me, but I'm actually going to be looking over my right shoulder, trying to challenge. You can see that my foot's squirming around a little bit more. Look over my left shoulder. Now I'm gonna look straight up. You can start to see I'm struggling. If I look straight up, oh man, that gets real hard because I've lost the ground. And if I try to close my eyes, oh man, just don't, Morgan, don't let me fall into the ocean over here. Good, we can start to see the, the challenge there. The whole goal is to find your edge of whatever balance you have and spend some time there. 30 seconds to 60 seconds per foot. Do that three rounds, start adding that in every single day. So our next exercise is going to be a line jump. This is a nice progression from my single leg balance where I'm really working on the integrity of that foot and that arch and maintaining it. Now we're gonna further challenge that integrity and that balance by by jumping, by, by moving across this line. So I like to call this little line jump where I'm gonna jump forward and back, finding that balance and stability all the way through. This also has an added benefit of challenging and strengthening your hip a little bit as well. And if I feel good, I can start to go back and forth this way. If I want to, I could mix it up and go laterally as well, where I'm gonna go here to the side, back and forth this way. Again, start with three sets of 10 per side, work up to sets of 20. You can start doing this every day, every other day. It's a nice way to strengthen those feet. So our uh, final exercise we're gonna work on are going to be some calf raises, but we're really gonna focus on the eccentric, the lowering part of that calf. And we're gonna really focus on going down, not just on two legs, but on one leg. So I'm gonna start up here. 
I'm going to uh, raise up on both feet, trying to get all the way up as high as I can. And then what I'm going to work on is a negative on this one side. What's nice about doing this exercise this way, nice and slow, is that I'm really kind of strengthening and challenging this particular Achilles and calf, which is going to be very beneficial when all of a sudden it's that much lower to the ground, that much more lengthened, and having to work that much harder with that zero drop step. So that's going to be really beneficial here. Again, we're starting with three sets of, you know, eight to 10, working up a little bit higher. In fact, if you go for 10 and it's pretty good, you could start to go up and down on the same foot, or you could go up on two and just down even slower. Adding that in again, at least a few times a week, I do this after really every single run. It's just a great way to strengthen those feet build up those calves and those Achilles, and set myself up for success. Hey, if you really care about going zero drop shoes, it means you really care about how you move, your running, your longevity, your health, and we have some incredible programs tailor-made to help you do just that. Click the link below for a seven-day free trial of our training club, and you will get all the help you need to make that happen. Of course, if you like this video, give us that thumbs up down below. Any comments or questions on what we reviewed, uh, requests for future exercises, uh, things you tried that were successful, drop them down below. We always love to hear that and have a little conversation. Of course, subscribe to our channel to get all the videos that we put out each and every single week so you can be in the first ones to get them. You hit that little bell, you get those notifications. It's just a nice, wonderful experience. And of course, guys, I'm gonna keep filming out here in this beautiful sun while we have it, so I will see you in the next one. Thank you.